awfully good, sadly enough, and you've met some of those. But anyway, I want to show you um, a top ten list of mine. You, you, you know, this is my top ten list of things that were actually written in actual church bulletins. I mean, th- I'm not making this stuff up, okay? So let me show you number ten, okay? The fasting and prayer conference includes meals. <laughs> now, I find that funny because, first of all, most Christians don't fast anymore. They never fast. And the Bible doesn't say if you fast, it says when you fast. They never fast anymore. And when they're praying for something, they don't, they don't give up food for a few days because it's, I guess it's not that important. I don't know. But this is classic. This is so typical. We're going to have meals during our fasting conference. Okay, number nine. Ladies, don't forget the rummage sale. It's a chance to get rid of those things around the house not worth keeping. Bring your husbands. And sadly enough, I've... That's kind of true, too, sometimes. <laughs> Number eight. The peacemaking meeting scheduled for tonight has been canceled due to a conflict. <sighs> Number seven. Don't let worry kill you off. Let the church help. <laughs> I think some of you have experienced that, huh? Yeah, sad. Um... <laughs> Number six, the rector will preach his farewell message, after which the choir will sing, break forth into joy. (laughs) That must have really made him feel good. Um, Number five, at the evening service tonight, the sermon topic will be, what is hell? Come early and listen to our choir practice. (laughs) I've, I've traveled around, sadly enough, that's fairly applicable. <laughs> um, four, potluck supper Sunday at 5 p.m., prayer and medication to follow. <laughs> Coming into the home stretch here. Number three, the eighth graders will be presenting Shakespeare's Hamlet in the church basement Friday at 7 p.m. The congregation is invited to attend this tragedy. Number two, low self-esteem support group will meet Thursday at 7 p.m. Please use the back door. (laughs) Number one, the sermon this morning, Jesus walks on water. The sermon tonight, searching for Jesus. (laughs) 